basically we're out here. We do this every year. We're pruning away some of the new growth from the trees and also taking some of the older stuff away. Basic idea of it is to clear out the tree a little to avoid a lot of shade being cast on other areas of the tree and also take away some of the weight of the branches. Just kind of thin it out so that we can get more large healthy apples out of it instead of having overcrowded small ones. First of all, we've been cutting a lot of fire blight out of these trees, so we kind of eye them up and look for that stuff first. Cut the fire blight out, put it aside because we burn all those. Fire blight is, this is it right here, actually. See how the tips of this are all, they almost look burnt. I think that's why they, where it got its name from. But this will have to come right out. It's kind of in the trunk. You can follow it down. There's a lot of it in this tree, actually. This tree might actually just come right down. See how it just keeps its way right into the branches. It's in here, it's in here, so that means it's probably getting right into the trunk. See, it's up here too, real bad. Up into that branch. So that tree, this tree might just be taken right now. See, once it gets into the trunk, it just can't really get that out. It just comes back every year. It just keeps spreading for the most part. You're better off just taking the tree down when it gets to a point. So you can cut back like to here, and this branch would still be good, but you know. There's nothing left of it. By the time you cut back the tree, there's there's really not much sense in keeping any of it if it's really bad. And then you're kind of just trying to open up the tree. You want you want good airflow going through it. You kind of want to try to keep the tree balanced. These are really old trees, so they've been pruned quite a bit. So they've got a lot of a lot of water shoots and a lot of branches you can need to cut out. But yeah, we're basically just looking when you're looking at the branches. These are your fruit buds for the the next year. Or so you kind of kind of balancing out keeping as many of those as you can, but still opening it up so you get a lot of light and airflow because apples need a lot of sunlight and a lot of airflow to keep funguses and stuff like that from spreading quickly. So yeah, everybody kind of has their own eye when it comes to it. You try to, like lower branches will take on the bottom like that right off immediately because they're gonna be covered by uh, leaves and other branches so they won't get much sunlight. So kind of start there, you take on the lower ones out and then spread out and try to get, you know, air things out a little bit more. 